crew builders welcome to the workbench we have our metal earth premium series darth vader in some really awesome star wars packaging and this will be our first premium series model in the star wars line and i can't think of a better one to start with than darth vader groovers let's take a look at the back on the back we get a brief look at our model followed by a difficulty rating here of just two points above the hardest rank Right below that, we have some instructions on how to build our model. And on the left here, we get a QR code which we can scan to get a 360 look at our model while we're building it. This comes in handy when we're putting little bits of detail on. And then finally, at the bottom, we get a look at some other models in the series. And you better believe we're building every single one of them. All right, Groovers, let's go ahead and open up our package. We have our instructions. That looks like quite a lot of them too. And we have our metal. And my goodness, look at all this. It's so shiny. That black looks fantastic too. Wow, it's just so black. Great job. You can probably see some of my lighting there. Honestly, Metal Earth Team, great job guys. Okay, with our metal out, Let's go ahead and get our first couple of pieces. And there we go. Our cutters are away and we have all of our parts needed for the first five steps. Now the first step, we start with parts one. And what we're gonna do here is uh, very easily, and we're going to make sure that we're doing this on the uh, non-engraved side. You can take a look here and you'll see all this little bumpage. That bumpage is there, uh, all those little lines are there to help us get a really nice bend and really nice shape. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right up here first. We're going to grab our tweezers and being very careful not to scratch this beautiful uh, mirrored black paint, we're going to bend this. And once we get started, we can even use our fingers. I'm, I'm really worried about scratching it because of the, the metal of these tweezers. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now, if you look at the instructions, um, you'll notice the bottom is like a more of a triangle and the top here is more rounded. So I'm gonna grab one of our little shaping tools here and we're just gonna round that a little bit. Yep, just like that. We're gonna force some, some bendage. There we go. And we're going to do the same thing with this part here. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, there we go. Awesome. Now that that's like that, we can grab part two here. Now part two is bent a little bit differently. Uh, we're going to do one of these little maneuvers first, and then we're going to bend the detail there. So we're going to start with the detail closest to that little center plate. That's this piece right here. And we're gonna bend that just a little bit, and then we're gonna bend that back piece a little bit more. There we go. Okay. And this all gets rounded too, so we'll just use this to help us with that. It's interesting that it has this actually shape first and then round everything, it's kinda cool. Now we're gonna bend our tabs here down. Boom, boom, and boom. Awesome, a little bit more there. And we'll attach this little plate. Now, if everything is done correctly, this should be pretty smooth. And I will say that uh, while this metal looks great and it does look really good, um, it's harder to see where the tabs are going, especially because I have to sit so far away from the camera in order for you guys to be able to get a good view of what I'm doing. Don't be surprised if you have to work these guys in a little bit. Um, just make sure that everything is in the right spot. That's the key part. Now that we got these guys all secured and looking good, we're gonna take them and we're gonna bend them, okay? Um, now we're gonna alternate the bend just to make sure that this is really locked into place. Um, but I can't stress this enough. Be very careful. You don't wanna scratch the paint job. The reason why we're not going to uh, twist these tabs right here is because if we do that, it's going to get in the way later on when we go and put this on the Vader. Okay, we got this one done. Let's get the other one done. 
Ta-da! There we go. Now that that's complete, we can put that down there. That's step one done. Now let's move on to step three. That has us bending these guys right here. Hey, and this reminds me of Deadpool's foot. Um, I really didn't enjoy that one too much. So let's see if we can get this one to be a little bit better. I'm going to round this using one of my cake decorating tools here. Let's see. Ah, that should be about right. Actually, I'll start bigger and then work my way down to the smaller one here. I just want to get a I just want to get a nice little roll going on. The foot here has to kind of um, meet around the back. So I'm going to round this here. What I'm doing, I'm just pressing really hard on that back end so it kind of really goes to meet it. And then I'm going to straighten out the foot. I'm trying to be very careful not to get any hot spots on that front end. Um, I'm going to do my best to hide this tab. So. There we go. Bring this around the front. And do a little air correction there. Awesome. That is that first foot. That was not easy. Uh, let's see if we can just now rally this around. These front end pieces are pretty simple to get done right. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use my tweezers and I'm going to slowly bend um, using lots of bends going up the piece here. And then I'm going to connect the um, feet in here. Now these, they say they can hide the tabs. Which is interesting. I don't think you can hide the tabs, to be honest with you, but um, it says it can happen, so um, I'm going to try to hide one. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. We'll just go and uh, redo it. That's what we'll do. Okay, let's see. Tab bender right down. Yeah. It's like a latch now. All right, I think that's okay for right now. That was not easy. I don't care what anyone says. Uh, getting those tabs in on the front when them bent in like that is just is it's near impossible. But I did get that finished, and uh, now that I got this foot kind of done, I'm gonna put this down, and uh, we're gonna grab part four. All right. Now with part four, we're going to make sure we're doing the same thing. The, uh, this is the engraved side. This is what I would like to call the non-engraved side. We're going to bend this and I'm going to use this guy right here to help me with that. Get every piece of it. You know what? Let's do something easier. Let's just do this. Okay. Let's do this and we're just going to go around here. There we go. Same thing for the other side. Just going around. Just like that. Boom. And now we're going to take this tab here, bend her back. And now we put this on our finished foot. And this should give us a good idea about how big our foot should have been. We might have to round out the back and I'm totally prepared to do so. I'm actually going to go ahead and do that already a little bit. There we go. And um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend all of these tabs kind of inward and I'm going to try to secure them where we can't see them. Again, this might be really tricky. Not the bending of the tabs, of course, but uh, getting them into their respected holes. All right. Start with the front one and then work your way back. That is always the best way to do this. Man, these are going to be some hard. You know, I said to myself, oh, these first couple of steps aren't going to be too bad. Oh, ho, 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 ho. man, of course, the feet and the legs are always the hardest part. There's a reason why we always say hashtag leg day on our Instagram posts. 
All right. And there we go. We have both part fours attached to our feet. I went ahead and just placed them both on. Uh, these guys here are definitely a little bit of a fight. And I won't be surprised if we have a lot of people out there that struggle with getting these little boots done. Let's put these guys to the side for now, though. And let's move on to part five and six. Now, what's important with these pieces here is that we make sure that the stars are on the inside. And uh, you'll notice a little star here on the right corner. Now, I'm going to start big and then go small. The way I'm going to do this is I'm going to just make a little bit of a roll here action, and that's going to get a nice start to the piece. And then I'm going to press the piece into my tool. And that's going to get a really nice even shaping here. Let me see here. There we go. Now that is definitely a good start, but not where we need to be. So let's get some more shaping in here. Just pressing pretty heavily into this. Letting that roll. Now, that looks pretty good actually. I'm pretty, pretty impressed with it. Now we can go one step a little bit further and go a little smaller. Now with this technique here, we're just gonna press and those sides should actually pretty much meet up by themselves. Cool. All right. That looks really neat, I think. Very tubular, man. Let's just take these little guys here. My goodness, this is not an easy part to bend. Holy shnikes, I am glad that we are hiding that. That is no bueno. That is not an easy piece to bend. Okay, there's that little edge bent. And now what we need to do is we need to insert this into our foot. Uh, let's grab one of our feet here. That's one thing you kind of figure out as you start building these models is that sometimes you will have the wrong shape and uh, you will get to a spot and you'll realize that you have to reshape the pieces that you've been working with in order to be able to get the right look or in order to be able to get the pieces together. Okay, there's our one foot or at least the start of it there, we need to get to the next piece, which is part number six. And just like the other one, we wanna make sure that the star here is on the inside. And we're going to roll this piece to the best of our ability. So let's give a nice little roll. There we go. And we're gonna connect this piece just like the last one. So we're gonna make it all the way around. Let's do this here. It's really important to make sure that when you're bending this model and that when you're forming the pieces that every single one of these little lines here gets a bend. It's so important to make sure that every single one of them gets a bend. And the reason for that is you want this part to be even and also cylindrical. If some of these pieces aren't bent, it won't be. It just won't be cylindrical. Now when you're playing with these pieces, don't press too hard because you can definitely break it, so just be careful. You can warp them very easily. Very, 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 very easily. Now let's take these guys here, and we're gonna bend them down. Now, you don't necessarily need to bend them straight 90, um, but you definitely need to bend them just a little bit. And just like before, we're gonna start with one and roll them around. So, um, let's see here, the front goes like this. So let's start with the front. Okay, there we go. We have step three complete. Now we gotta move on to step four, which has us bending parts seven and eight and combining them. So let's put that down right now. Move this over to here and grab these guys. Now we're gonna bend this little triangle like this. Yeah, that looks pretty good if you ask me. I think that looks pretty good. And now with the arrow facing down, we're going to take this guy and we are going to put the um, star 
There we go. Towards the arrow. These guys are all secured with a twist, so let's give them a nice little twist. Okay, and now we're going to take these two guys here and we're going to combine them. Just make sure you're placing the arrow in the right spot. I made sure to properly orientate my uh, piece here so that we know that I was not going to put her on backwards. With these figure models in particular, it's pretty important to make sure that uh, when you're bending everything, that you're not squishing other pieces, one. And two, you also want to make sure that when you're putting everything together, that it's really secure and in the right place. Uh, you, don't really, you definitely don't want to get onto your build and then accidentally realize you either put something on incorrectly or worse, you've broken a piece. that's about right if you look it up and hold it to the uh, to the instructions you'll see that this is actually what you want to see that little arrow there we're looking good now we can move on to the next piece here let me put these guys out of the way we're gonna be attaching one of these the first ones we made this is the kind of the, I guess the shin pad here and again one side at a time Oh boy, this is going to be a nightmare. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist just for now. Just for now. That's just going to keep everything steady, and then we're going to work on the front. This will be easier now. Okay, and there we go. We have our shin armor all attached. And now that we got this leg complete, we need to move on to our next one. And that's built pretty much the same way, with the exception of part 10 being bent a little bit differently. Let's go ahead and fast forward to that part. Okay, and here is our second leg. That looks really good. And I know earlier I said I was going to have to bend a little bit of a knee there. Um, I just looked at the page a little bit wrong. And I know it's a kind of a silly moment. But now with our leg finished, we need more parts. And there we go, we have all of our parts needed for steps 6 and 7. Now yes, I went ahead and put that uh, little shin guard on there, at least that's what I'm going to call it, and uh, that's okay. You don't really need to have access to this anymore, and now that these tabs are folded over and looking nice, I'm not going to take them off to make it uh, look nice on camera. So I already did that, it's okay if you did too. Now let's move on to the next part, which is just adding this piece to the top. You've seen this already, so let's fast forward to where it's complete too. Okay, and there we go. Our leg is all nice and assembled. Now we move on to step seven, which has us putting a crotch here in the middle to conjoin these two pieces. These look a little wonky though, I gotta say, like between this guy here and this guy here. Actually, they look okay when you put them together. We put them like this though, they look a little silly. Cha! I wonder if you can get Vader to sit down. Do you think those legs would work? I don't think they would. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the next step. Uh, let's grab 12 here. Now 12 is just bent into a simple little box. And you can actually hold this right here and just fold them like that. And what's really cool is these tweezers are going to be available in our store very soon. Um, I'm just trying to figure out a way to label them. I would like to have my logo on them. And uh, I can't find anything that's sticking uh, it won't stick well. The, the type of material they're made out of, the bags, just don't stick well with the logos. There. All right. Now they're separated. Okay. Now that we're here, let's attach our legs on. Um, it goes like this with a little, that little line here, that little line up. It's going to go there. So I don't think that these legs are going to fit any other way. We're going to have to bend this top tab down here to get it to fit properly into the box. And we'll do that on both sides. Okay, and I'm just trying to secure these the best I possibly can, guys. Let's do a little twist there. Hell yeah, that looks awesome. Okay, let's put the next one on here. Let's 
I think that looks pretty good if you ask me. Those legs. Yeah. I don't know how they're going to stand. I may have to uh, work this out a little bit. I may have to move them back and forth. I don't think these are level like they're supposed to be, but I did follow everything like it was supposed to be done, so... Um... No, I didn't. This is upside down. Silly, silly, silly me. I'm gonna have to take this apart. Let's get that done. Okay, there we go. I finished fixing the legs, and now they look a lot better. Both those arrows are facing down, so that's a good sign, right? I, I, I think it's a good sign. Okay, so now we got these guys here. We need to attach it to our base, which is pretty easy to do. Um, I'm going to leave it flat for right now, and the reason why I'm going to do that is it makes it a lot easier for me to be able to put the tabs into place. Now, if you wanted to, um, I think you possibly could do magnets, but I wouldn't recommend it. Okay, now this is where you're going to need a lot of adjustment. I don't care who you are, you're going to need a lot of a time to get everything into its proper place. Bending these down will help uh, with the formation, but uh, you're going to have a little bit of weirdness going on until you get all these bent. Now you'll notice I'm kind of pre-bending them, and then I'm going to go around and finish them. There is our stand, all nice and formed too. Vader is looking pretty big. Uh, let's move on to the next piece here. We're going to be shaping part 14, and this is the crotch. Great. The fun part. Just like Deadpool, we got to make sure this is nice and shaped correctly, and I feel like we're going to be spending a long time in Vader's crotch. Let's go ahead and start taking our little cake rolling tool. This is our fondant tool, and we're going to try our best to get a nice area here and get these little pieces of metal to line up. We're going to roll this like this. It's a great thing about this tool is it makes a really nice rounded edge, so it's perfect for a cod piece. Okay, we're going to shape that out a little bit more. Bring it in. And uh, this is just going to help us get an idea about how much more we need to shape it. Again, we got that nice rounded shape, so now we can kind of use, whoops, we can use multiple bends with my butterfingers. Um, to get a nice, even shaping around the cod piece. There we go. Woohoo! Look at that. That looks, you know, basically like the movie version. Bring that in. And now we're going to attach this on to the center. Let's see if we can do this. I'm going to do the uh, front tabs first, and then we're going to do the back ones. Press kind of hard on there. Woo! There we go. We got them all in. That was kind of tricky. And uh, these are all done with a twist. So let's just do a nice little twist there. Now remember, we're going to do this opposite sides. And um, now remember, we are going to bend these tabs the opposite way for each one. And that just creates them uh, really, that just makes them really nice and strong. Like, see, no wiggle at all really nice okay let's grab part 15 part 15 is shaped very easily we're gonna make sure the black is facing up they call that the engraved side here cool and now we're going to insert this on either side now the reason why they had you wait there um, with the forming was just so it's easier for you to grab these tabs here. Um, it was all right, it wasn't too hard. We can push that little waist area in there. And there we go. Looking good, looking good. Uh, but now we need more parts. And just like that, our clippers are away and we have all of our parts needed for steps 8 through 12. Starting with step 8, we got part 16 here. We're looking at building the cape now. Let's see here. Hmm. This is the side that we're going to be bending. You can tell because of all the little revs. Let's 
going to stretch that out there. Get a nice little curve. There we go. We'll move on to our next piece here. This is part 17. Same thing. Uh, we're going to just do the length here. And again, I'm applying a lot of pressure to make sure that I'm getting a nice even bend. And I'm going all the way to the end. Just make sure I get that top there too. And now we're going to press them into the cape. There we go. Very cool. Looking, I think it looks pretty good. I might need to form this a little bit more. Now we need to do the same thing again. That's with step nine. Let's grab our two pieces here. This is part 18 and 19. These two pieces look almost the same as our other ones. It's very important to make sure that if you're cutting these pieces out, you keep them separated so you don't accidentally get them mixed up. Because I'm sure if you tried to put these pieces together incorrectly, they might go together, but like our legs, they'll look a little funky. This one here has a lot more of a harsher bend on it. I'm gonna let it go for right now and see how it all connects. Now with these two pieces done, we actually need to connect them onto the main body. Let's see how we do that. That was really, oops. I'll say that was really kind of easy. And as I said that, of course it pops out. Now these are all secured with a twist. So what I'm gonna do is actually press as much as I can and I'm gonna let that fall out for right now. And I'm gonna twist these tabs here like that because that allowed me to get the best connection. And now I can go to this last one here and do the same thing by pressing up I get as much of the tab as possible through that assertion hole and I can secure everything really nicely. Now my question is though, with me actually having to do this later on, um, is there, are those gonna get in the way? Hmm, I guess we'll have to wait till a little bit later to find out. Now that we have these in though, uh, we do the other side. And this is the one that has that really weird kind of thing and uh, I also messed up the top here by bending these tabs. That was a mistake. Let's do that up a little bit more. I'm also going to make a little bit more of a bend here at the top. Huh. Whoa, not too much pressure on the bottom, that's for sure. I just did a silly. Ah, oh, man. All right, we're corrected. But geez louise. Let me just make sure I didn't screw that up too bad down there. I'm getting a lot of debris on here. Hmm. I don't think that looks bad at all. All right, now that this is done, we put this to the side, and now we get to work on the iconic helmet. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit intimidated by this because it looks pretty complicated. Um, but let's take a deep breath. <sighs> I think we can do it together. All right, let's clear this piece out here. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to start by grabbing uh, part 21 here. And this is part 20 just for the record. And what we're gonna do is we're going to bend these into eye shapes. Now, you'll notice that there's two long bits and one short bit. That short bit is kind of the square of the eye. And we wanna make sure that we keep that. And um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have this longer piece on top kind of bend down and meet the lower bit. I think this is the shape we want. Now we can confirm that shaping by, of course, putting this into place. But before we do that, I'm gonna take my little piece here and round the edges of our helmet. Not where the eyes are. I'm leaving that kind of flat for right now. I will do a little bit, but not much. I'm gonna give a little bit of a roll through there just to kind of get a little something going, but not crazy. We don't wanna go nutty here. The back bit though, we really wanna curve those. Those little strap ends, we're gonna really press in on those. And um, what I'm gonna do now, I'm actually gonna use a bigger one here so I don't accidentally 
warp this too much. And we are going to just press as hard as we possibly can. Really make sure that we put the shiny side here on the outside. I think that's the most important thing to remember. Now, I went ahead and tried to fool around a little bit with the eyes because I thought that those pieces were going to be a little bit complicated. And uh, I think they're going to be okay. Now, we really want to make sure that these edges here are rounded before we connect them together. And we're not going to do that before inserting the eyes, but you really do want to make sure that this piece has a nice consistent shaping to it without uh, of course messing up that really nice shiny outside all right now let's take this piece here awesome same thing as before we're going to secure these into place again making sure not to accidentally block any other areas where tabs might be going later. Now we're going to go back inside and we're going to shape out that eye, making sure that looks really nice and consistent. Bring up that bigger bit on the bottom. Nice. That looks pretty cool. Well, at least so far, I think. Uh, let's move on to that next little bit. We're going to be putting some more detail on the inside. This is part 23 looks like the backing to our eyes. The bigger part of our hill here is going to go on top. And then we're going to try to line this up with our tabs on either side. I can see this bit being a little bit tricky to get into place and be very careful not to accidentally put this on backwards or scratch the nice finish on the inside because of course your eyes are going to be there. Okay. And look at those eyes now. That looks really good, I think. Okay. Um, I don't think we close this still. I'm a little bit interested by what it's actually trying to tell me to do. But um, for now, I think we're going to leave this and move on to step 12. Let's put this down and grab our piece here. Now with this here, we need to make this kind of like concave shape. And uh, for that, I think what we're going to do is use our friend Animate Orange's tools. We have a nice little coning tool here. And we're going to see if we can get a nice little shaping. I'm moving this in a way that gets me that cone shape. I'm really trying to emphasize that. I'm rolling the tool as I do this as well. Um, again, I, I really want this angle um, that I have here. Let's see. Roll a little bit more. I'm not actually connecting this. I'm just trying to get the shaping that I need and an idea of uh, the sizing. I know this is kind of blasphemous for a lot of people watching, but this is the way we do it. Sunshine. Um, I think that's a decent angle. I might need to work the front here a little bit more. And now what we're going to do is bend this piece here up or towards us, I should say. What we're doing now here is just kind of bringing this all in. We're making the detail on the front of the mask. And this area here is uh, pushed forward. And then we're bringing this piece down. And then we're bringing the nose up like this. So it creates almost like a triangle shaping here on the front. There we go. I'm pretty happy with that. I think that looks well, that looks pretty good. Now the next piece here that we need to do is parts uh, 25 and 26. These are very similar pieces. Again though, the key here is to make sure that you're putting the shiny side on the outside. We don't want to see the stuff here that everyone else is seeing. Okay. Now we're going to just bend this a little bit like this backwards. And then we're going to bend it um, like this and get those pieces to connect those little edges there. There we go. Okay. All right. There's our little edge. 
Now this piece here is going to go into Vader's face and you can see how the have little can uh, the insertion holes are on the bottom here. So the insertion holes go into here first and then this one goes into there. So you can see how this is going to be a little tricky. I'm going to bring this up a little bit and um, I'm going to bring these tabs out a little bit more. This is definitely not an easy little piece to get in here. These facial pieces are nice and small and they don't want to cooperate. So I'm almost tempted to secure the nose first and then work on the other pieces, getting them in, because I think that that might be the way to go. You know what? I'm going to uh, go ahead and twist this. And now that gives me some support. Push those in. Take these guys back here, bend them down, bend them down. There we go. Okay. I don't know if I like that. I might bend it back the other way a little bit later for right now though. We're going to keep it there. That was a tricky piece. And the reason why it was tricky was because I kind of bent it the wrong way first. Instead of bending this um, like out, like back, we're going to actually bend it towards us and we're going to follow the curve. I get really confused sometimes with those blue arrows that Metal Earth has on these instructions. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, it's my own mistake and uh, we all make them. I seem to be doing it a lot in this build. It's not an easy build. It's definitely earned its uh, difficulty rating, that's for sure. Kind of working on the detail on the nose there a little bit. Looking good though. Like really looking good. I think that looks pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Um, again, we haven't connected anything here on the back, but she wants to connect really badly. Uh, she does. And I think we're going to do that in just a moment with the top part of our head. Now, uh, this needs to be bent more. Uh, as you can see, our head it needs to be in there. I'm going to do this with my fingers right now. And, um, there's that. Okay. Oh boy. Here comes the moment of truth. We got to put everything into place. Now I'm going to start over here on the front with the eyes. Fantastic. Whoo. That was not easy. Now we need to do the uh, back of the helmet here. I'm going to try to hide these tabs. I'm probably just looking to cause more trouble for myself, knowing how this build's been going for me today, uh, but we're gonna try doing it anyway. Let's bend these guys down as well. Bend that just like that a little bit. Okay, let's work these tabs into place. A little tap on the back there. A little bit of tightness here as well. Let's kind of make sure she's kind of nice and rounded. All right, there is our Vader face. I'm going to just kind of puff it out a little bit. We want to make sure that we have no gaps. We don't like gaps. The war on gaps still exists here on Groove Builders. And uh, that actually looks really good. I, I like the way this looks. All right, now with this face done, uh, we need more parts. Boom, just like that, we have all of our parts needed for steps 13 through 16. Let's go ahead and grab part 27 here. This is at the top. And what we're gonna be doing is putting it onto our helmet. Now, these are actually pretty straightforward to do. Um, you'll notice that both sides are kind of shiny, but one is a little bit more shinier than the other. And what we're gonna do is grab this and just bend her down like that. And then we're gonna come over here and we're going to grab these tabs at the back. We're going to bend those down as well. Just like that. 
forgot to grab this one here. Same thing. And I'm just using my thumb to uh, counteract that. If you're having a big problem with your piece kind of twisting or bending, all you need to do is use two pair of tweezers to help you get through this. Now we're going to insert this into some interesting areas of Vader's face. I should say his helmet. So if you find that uh, these particular pieces, parts 27 and 28, aren't fitting kind of correctly, double check to make sure that you're putting them in the right spot because as I just found, they actually go in really easily and uh, you definitely have something going on if they're not going in easily for you. There we go. Vader's face here coming along. Now we do the same thing with the other side here like we did with that one. There we go. I think. Let me get a little bit more tighter there. Okay. Wow. There is our detail. I'm just going to play with it a little bit. I think it looks pretty good. Now we need to put on the neck here. Our neck is a little bit different than the other ones. Uh, what we have to do is roll it, but because of its shape, it makes it a little bit harder. I'm going to use my bigger rolling here. I'm going to use my rolling technique here to get a good start on the shape and then I'm going to use my tweezers to help me round out to where I need it to be. I'm just trying to round this out the best I possibly can. I don't want any warps. Uh, I'm just not a fan. Okay, I think that looks pretty good, pretty good. And now we need to attach this on to uh, Vader's neck. The seam goes towards the back here, just if you're trying to figure that out yourself. Oh yeah, we got her. Okay, now that we got this, we're gonna secure it up. Man, I hope I got this the right way. If not, oh, I just broke my glove. Oh, no. You know, with the beer bug going on, it's really hard to find gloves. And I just made my life a little harder. I feel like this is wrong. I feel like this is wrong. And I'm going to have to come back to it. But we're going to wait a little bit and we're going to move on to the next step. If i got to change some things out, I'll change it when I get there. Let's move on to the next round here. We're moving on to step 14. And step 14 has us moving into the dome of the helmet. Now, I know this might be intimidating for a lot of you out there. And if you don't have the forming tools that I have, um, I can understand how this might be a little bit intimidating. But if you have a spoon downstairs in your kitchen or just across the way in your kitchen, that can work just as well as my fondant tool here does. Now, again, if you don't have something like that, any kind of rounded object will help you, even a marble. The key, though, is to make sure that you move your pieces around and that every bit of the metal gets bent. That's the best way to make sure that we get a really nice shaping here. You'll see that I'm almost like kind of rolling it as I do this. And that, again, just make sure that I get a really nice shaping. Now, the more pressure we push onto this, the more of a bend we're going to get. And at first, it's just about getting the metal ready. Just about getting that metal ready, letting you know what it's going to do. Saying, hey, buddy, you're going to go into a dome. I'm just working it a little bit, and now we're going to start connecting it together. the helmet now to go 
this is uh this helmet's actually proving to be um pretty easy to go through and i might just eat my words now that i've said it but uh, for the most part, I mean, we're just really just bending these tabs in, pushing them into place. And I'm starting always with the outside. I'm working my way, um, working my way in. Now I'm always putting the tabs back onto where they came from. So for instance, I'm gonna bend this down right here and I'm gonna fold it back this way once I get it connected. And that just makes sure that everything is connected really solidly. And if I start that pattern, I need to finish that pattern. If I start changing the way the directions go with the tabs, I actually end up running out of space because the metal is being used differently when we're hiding the tabs. And sometimes you get overlapping and that overlap um, makes it really hard for you to connect the pieces at the end when you're trying to get that last couple of tabs into place. So always make sure you're bending back the way you came. Be consistent. And I know I just said be consistent and then I told everyone that I started my way on the outside in and I worked the way uh, inside out so I'm silly I think we did a pretty good job there I'm not gonna lie I, I really like it and I think that by adding that little bit of uh, roundness on the edge we created more of a dome look and it doesn't create such a harsh brim as we see in some of the display models that are out there okay looking really good now we need to move on to part 31. Part 31 is formed like a cone. And what we're gonna do to get that shape is we're going to uh, flip this around to the inside. And we're gonna use this tool, but we're gonna use it on an angle. Actually, you know what, even better. Let's use Animate Orange's tool again. See, I told you, we got tons of uses for these tools. You know, there's so many tools around your home. Even a pencil would work really well for this one of those really big pencils you find at the amusement park. Everyone's had one of those in their lives with the giant big erasers on the back. Tons of sparkly paper looking like a Pokemon card that you want to have the Super Collector Edition of. Did anyone out there ever have a Pokemon card that was Super Collector? I think when I was growing up, I had a friend named Ray and uh, he had a really cool uh, Charizard that his mom bought him. And I remember the day he got it, it was a really cool day. And I, I got to live through him, his experience of getting a really cool card like that. And uh, now don't mind you, my, my parents weren't poor or anything, just they just didn't care so much about Pokemon. Now that we got this here, we're gonna bend these tabs in and attach it to our helmet. Do that. A little bit more here. Okay, I think that should be should be sufficient for what we need. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start on the front of our helmet. And um, actually I'm going to start with the one that has the insertion hole. And the reason for that is I don't want it to accidentally uh, screw up anything here or get in the way of something else. Okay, take this guy here and I'm going to secure him first. Now something to notice is that there is, nope, we're good. We don't have any more tab, we don't have any more insertion holes around the brim. So we can, we can be a little bit more forceful with this. Okay. so violent with this model I don't know what's going on am I rusty on these have I been concentrating too much on 3d printing lately I'm just kidding I like it that looks great okay our helmet looks fantastic now we need to do a little bit more work with this. We actually need to put part 32 on, which is a little bit more detail that will hide some of the larceny that we just made. I do have uh, podcasts and music sometimes going on in the background, and I recognize that my microphone sometimes has a little bit of background noise. You might hear the fam jam from time to time, but most of it is just uh, whatever podcast I have going on. Sometimes I have Doomcock, and uh, nerd going on. 
I love hearing those guys talk about different things. And uh, other times I got the music rolling. What kind of things do you guys listen to when you're building models? I'm just kind of curious. Okay. Let me know in the comments. My Butterfingers here. Just kind of push on these guys here. Make sure they're nice and secure. There we go. Awesome, awesome. There go. All right. That is our helmet. And it looks pretty good. I'm liking where we're at. I am liking where we are at. But now we need to attach this onto the head that we've built earlier. And uh, I think that this might be a little tricky, especially with how these tabs are done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab these guys here and we're gonna bend them slightly in just like this, okay? Just like that. Now, I'm gonna start with one side and then I'm gonna shift to the other, okay? Oh man, I got a bad feeling about this. I can't, how are you supposed to see? This is totally, this is blind. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. All right, now we're going to just do a little twist. I can't believe I got that. That was interesting. How's that look? Oh, that looks cool. That looks so awesome. Great. That looks so great. Like, just take a look at this. Amazing. Amazing. All right. Now, that looks so good. Awesome. 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 And now we move on to the shoulder parts, which is our first kind of color piece that we've dealt with with this model. I'm going to put the Vader head down there. I won't be needing these guys, I don't think. Actually, I will need this a little bit. Okay, so for this guy here, we're going to need a little bit more rolling action. So let's go ahead and start that up here. I'm just going to give it a nice little roll like that. Same thing here. Nice little... Actually, we're going to go this way. Nice little roll. Okay. And I should have maybe have done the middle first, and I can already hear people laughing at me. You know what, though? Watch me do this. Whoop. Okay, that, that didn't work like I wanted it to. Let's do that, maybe? Ah, fine. I'll just correct the mistake by doing this. Dumb. There we go. See? Corrected. Now, you're like, well, that's great and all, but how are you going to get this to go together? Well, you see, I'm just starting it. That's all. We don't want to make any kind of uh, um, really hard bends here. Uh, we don't want to run the risk of making any hot spots or any creases in the metal. So we do our best to really try and get things to work the first time. And the way we do that is by pre-bending our pieces. Now I'm going to take this, grab our little tabs here, bend them all down, and then we're going to attach them into those little adjacent insertion holes. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now we can continue to bend this a little bit more. I think that looks pretty good. I could be wrong though. Now we need to attach our helmet. And I guess this will be the all important part here where we figure out if I uh, did this right or wrong. Um, I think I did it right, guys. <laughs> I think I did it right. And I did. Awesome. I love it when things work out the right the first time. I was just a little bit unsure of myself. There we go. Okay. So there is our staring Darth Vader. Now we need to get these little tabbies here up and he's definitely more stable with the uh, twists. So you definitely need to do a twist with the attaching of the head just because you really do want a stiff joint there. You don't want his head to be all wobbly like a bobble head. This is not a pop figure. Awesome, 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 awesome. 
Okay, with this all connected, now what we need to do is move on to step 16, which has us bending part 34. And uh, this is actually a pretty easy thing to do. We're gonna be building the, uh, I guess the body of Vader here. And uh, we're going to roll some pieces just to kind of get a nice little, little bit of uh, texture here. Just like that. Just right to the middle. Okay, just like that. Looking pretty good. Do a little bend in each one of those little fold lines there. Come back to this other piece here. This is part 35. And uh, we're gonna do kind of the same thing, but at a lesser extent. Just like that. Just like that. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do is have uh, our pieces here. Okay, now I'm about unifying this body a little bit and trying to make it a little bit more uniform. Um, I always like to have everything to look nice here. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now what we need to do is uh, bend these tabs outwards right here on the outer edge. Again, making sure we grab as much of that in our tweezers as possible as we bend. Looking good there too. Okay, let's move on to the next piece here. We got part 36. Now 36 is really simple. We're just matching the borders um, like this all the way around. Straightforward enough, right? I think so. Okay, now looking at the instructions to make sure we don't accidentally install this upside down, believe me, it can happen. Uh, we wanna make sure that the bar here at the bottom with the yellow, 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 red is going towards the uh, the lesser half, if you will. There we go. Very cool. I'm, I'm loving how this is really starting to come together. Let's go ahead and uh, bend these guys down as well, because now we're gonna attach this guy all together and he's gonna look really, really, really cool. These guys, we're gonna bend outward and I'm gonna show you why in a moment. I, this might not work, we're gonna see. I might have to redo that. Okay, so the front piece like that. Coming around back. Oh, actually it worked out really freaking well. It's like, I know what I'm doing. I'm really good at faking that, I think. Okay. Uh, this back area here is gonna be covered by a cape anyway, so the larceny doesn't really matter too much. It's really about the front here. The front is where you wanna make sure everything is very pretty, okay? So now, that's looking really, I love the look of Darth Vader. Look at that, that's so cool. Okay, this is coming along extremely well, but now, we need more parts. Okay, and there we go. We're all set for step 17 through 21. Let's go ahead and get started with part 37 here. With this piece here, we're just making a quick little rectangle. Very easy. And we are making the box. Take that, fold her down. There we go. Gonna try to make that a little straighter if I can. Looking good, looking good. Now we're gonna take these little edges here and we're gonna bend them out. I'm actually gonna use the side of my tweezers to do this. This makes everything easier for me. There we go. Pretty easy, right? Now the next thing we're gonna do is grab this guy. This is part 38, looking really cool more of our computer parts, life support for Vader. 
awesome. And now with this, we attach it onto the piece we just formed. There we go. Cool. Our first one's done. Same thing again here with this one. Do our little rectangle. Give a little twist. Give a little twist. There we go. Our second one is now finished. This is where we grab part 41 and now add all of that detail on, but not before we, of course, put on part 40. Part 40, same thing. We're going to grab the long sides because they are the hardest to form. Uh, well, consistently. And then we grab these guys here with the tabs. Those edges are nice and lined up. Now the first one we're going to be attaching on here is going to be the center. Now there's an engraved side and a non-engraved side. Make sure you're using the non-engraved side as we're putting all of the detail here. Now with these ones, don't forget you need to fold them as flat as you can. So make sure that these tabs are really flat. Okay, now let's add that other little bit of detail that we just formed making sure that we put them in the proper orientation. Okay, and there we go. We have our belt finished. When we look at our belt, this is where we wanna see if we made any mistakes, especially with our orientation. Taking a quick look at our picture, we can see that these six dots are on the side and our two little green buttons here are on the top. We're all good to go. Now we gotta form this into an actual belt shape. And to do that, I'm gonna use one of my doming tools, also, known as a dapper. Now this is probably um, over an overbend, but uh, this will again kind of help us get a good, uh, good shaping to go around Vader when we need it. Cool. There's our belt. Now that we got this all done, it's time to put Vader together and we'll actually see how tall this guy is when he's all put together too. Hmm, okay. It looks like the first thing we're gonna do is put them on. There we go. Now these are secured with a twist. There we go. All right, Vader is nice and secure. Now we're gonna put on that little belt that we just made. This should be at the least entertaining. Hmm, it looks like there's tabs right there on the back that we had earlier that we're gonna put this on. So let's just do one of these. Vader, your belt is going on, my friend. Awesome, look at that. Vader's really coming along. I'm going to leave him like this just so everyone can see how awesome he is as we move along. Now the next thing we're going to be doing is forming some of the more complicated pieces for the arm. These are tubular, but they do have a little bit of an odd shape with them. Now when it comes to bending part 42, it's important to remember that the piece here that has all these crazy lines, that's the inside. We're not going to be seeing that side. We want the parts here with the dots to be on the outside. Keep that in mind. We want Vader to be consistent all the way through. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our little uh, green tool here from Animate Orange, this guy right here, and we're going to start bending this up. Now, if you're using a tool like I am to try to get these uh, shapes, you can kind of see where they're supposed to go. And it's really good to bend the tabs uh, towards the insertion hole so that you get the proper uh, shape for these pieces. Okay, that should be quite good for what we need. Okay. There we go. That's not a bad looking little arm piece if you ask me. And uh, we're gonna bend these tabs here on the top, just slightly down like this as well. 
and that's going to help us a little bit later. But for right now, um, we're going to also bend these two. We're going to get on to the next piece here. And the next piece is bent very similar to the last. And um, again, we're just rolling this piece. We're going to roll it out. Okay. And now folding this guy in here too. Get him nice and secured, just like that. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Vader here is really coming along. Uh, now, you know, this might be a little complicated. I might have, and I might actually take this apart just to make it easier for me to be able to put this on. Let's see how much I struggle with it and see if I need to do this or not. Now, I really did want to try to hide those tabs, but it's just not going to be possible. I, I can't do it. I wanted to. I can't do it, though. Okay. Okay, and there we go. We have that all set up. Now we can move on to the next little bit here, uh, which is adding part 44 on. Looking good, looking good. Now let's move on to the next bit, which is part 45. Part 45 here is the hand of Vader. And uh, this one is a little tricky. We gotta actually bend it around the detail that we see here, but we can also use that as a guide. Great, that hand looks awesome. Let's move on to part 46 here. Again, using our green tool, we can get that uh, little piece started. Okay, now I did it again. I probably should have wrapped this around and I guarantee this time I'm gonna pay for it. Let's see if I can do it though. Let's take these tabs here, bend them down. Then making sure that this little line right here is at the rear because we don't wanna see it. We insert one. I got it. All right, work it in. Come on now. Oh yeah, we got her. <laughs> I thought that was gonna be difficult, but we got her in. We did a great job and uh, I'm pretty happy with this. Although I don't like this backing here. It's not as uh, cylindrical as I like my pieces typically. So I'm gonna work on that just a little bit. There we go, that's better. Now let's attach this onto the arm. And it's very important again that we get the proper orientation here. So let's take our arm, look at the picture, and then match the picture to what we have in our hand. I think it's about right there. There we go. And there is our arm. Looking kind of cool, not gonna lie. But we still need to put more pieces onto it. We need to put part 47 on. And uh, this is where we bent those tabs up earlier. This is where it comes in handy. Uh, we're gonna make sure the engraved side, and the engraved side here is facing out. Okay, got that in there pretty good. Now, these are all secured with a twist as well, so let's get that done. <laughs> all right, 
that is our arm complete. Now we need to do one more. I'm going to put this right over here next to Vader. And uh, let's do the next one. Now, very much the same process again. So uh, let's just kind of cut to where I'm pretty much finished up. Okay. Then the thumb. Okay, so this hand tab now to be pushed down because we got that secured. And now we bring this thumb little piece here up and around. Again, remember, use multiple bends to be able to get these pieces done correctly. Don't try to do it all in one go. It's not going to work out well. You bend these little tabs here down in the front. And we also try to keep this back here open the best we possibly can. I'm going to stick my tweezers in here. And that's going to allow me to keep that open while I push this detail into place just like that. And that's going to give our hand a really nice force choke look. There we go. Okay. Again, this is supposed to be more oval here. So I'm just trying to create that oval effect. I may have bent this piece too much and created a crease, which no good. No good indeed. I think that's going to be okay. We're going to see now, though, as we put this hand together. And to get our hand all attached, we got to make this collar. Again, all of this here is pretty much the same. So let's go ahead and fast forward to where I have this almost all complete. All right, Groovers, and there we go. We have all of our pieces needed to build Darth Vader. Now, let's put those arms on. And I think that this might be a little tricky, but nothing that we can't do. I mean, I think the most of the hard parts are pretty much done now. You can turn it back up, Mary, now. There we go, our arms are attached, and that looks pretty good, um, but uh, we still need to add some more detail on this to make it look even better. And let's do that with the arm pads. Now with the arm pads here, it's very important to remember that the engraved side is gonna be on the outside. We're gonna use a rolling tool to help us get the right shape. This is our fondant tool from earlier. Now this goes on those little uh, little silver pieces that we pulled out earlier. Ooh, that one went on a little easier and that's because I was prepared this time with knowing how to actually deal with it. Great. Be careful when you're putting these on too. You don't want to accidentally uh, push down too hard and possibly break all the legwork that you've already done with the model. Okay, that is Vader all nice and attached. Look at him, he's looking so solid there. Let's put him over to the side for right now. Looking good, buddy. Now we're gonna go and build our lightsaber. Now this is awesome. I, I think this is the first Metal Earth lightsaber that's uh, been done. So this is really, really cool. Now this is a longer piece, so we need something a little longer to bend this properly. And I know that this is a little big, but um, let's go ahead and try to use this. 
And like always, we're gonna start the piece off by getting it all bent, going to every corner of the piece to make sure that she's bent. And then we're gonna fold her around. Now to avoid that teardrop effect, we really do have to press hard on these edges. Just keep pressing, 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 and you should get it. Okay, that looks pretty good for right now. Let's put that down and look at our lightsaber blade. Now this is a long piece here, so we're gonna use our inner part of our tweezers here to get the proper bend. I go this way actually. I'm gonna bend the center first. Cool, that looks great. Now we can put this onto our saber. Okay, there we go. There we go, very nice, very, very nice. Let's put the saber down and now work on the cloak. Now for this guy here, all we're gonna do is come to the top here and we're gonna round out that edge. Just a little, nothing crazy. Just enough to kind of give us a start. There we go. Nice. All right, now that we got that there, we can bring our cape up. And our cape gets a little bit of a bend too. Nothing crazy though. And we can also work on this as we uh, put them on to Vader. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put these guys in their place. And now I'm just gonna bend just like that. Secure the tab in place. And now I'm gonna work this just a little bit until I'm happy with the overall shape. Pretty happy with that now. Okay, let's put this onto Vader's back. There we go. And there we go. Not really though. Gotta work on that cape. We can fold it down a little bit. There we go. And now with Vader and his lightsaber. Oh, that looks awesome. And there we go, Groove Builders. We have Darth Vader.